to Ops, it's your Fred Knight Jules Fix here on The Duelist and today we're kicking off a whole brand new season because Eldrick Moon has just landed on the, the game and as you can clearly see we are kicking things off with a black control deck that I've made with the new cards that are in Eldrick Moon and I'm really happy to show you that off. If you want to have a look at the deck tech it is in the annotation that should be on the screen now. For everyone else we're just going to go straight into some gameplay. Okay game one for you guys. Uh, that's good starting hand. We're going to keep this. There's no removal in our hand, which is a bit weak, but we do have uh, two hairs and we got a despoiler. We also have collateralist. So we're in a pretty good aggressive position. Um, our opponent starts with an equipment. So yeah, we're going to start just out with the good odd swamp. No need to complicate things. Draw a murder, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, post post that Eldritch Moon, I just wanted to see how viable a, a black deck was to see if it was uh, as competitive as I think it might be. Uh, so I wanted to hit the ground running with this new season. And just watch recruiter, cool. We won't be flipping over the next turn because we will be dropping higher here of fucking wrath higher of fucking wrath so our opponent will have to cast nothing to be able to flip it and then if they do do that then we can always murder it um, a twin bolt let's see one it depends if he does it for two or one. He does it for two, he's smart. Knows that I could easily flip it over. If he had done it for one, I would have, uh, I would have in response to the card kind of flipped it over. That's cool, that gets a twin bolt out of our opponent's hand. And we're going to lose two life here, we're going to get to 18. Which is perfectly fine, we're just going to cast the other Higher or fucking wrath. Um, don't have a problem with that. Let's just cast the other higher. And we'll play a Rogue's Passage for a turn. Pass the turn. See how our opponent wants to do it this time. So if they magically have another burn spell. They do. Okay, is he getting both? He's getting both. Okay, that's fine. In for two again. We're gonna go to 16. Okay, we'll play uh, Kalatis. I think, yep, we'll play Kalatis on the next turn. And we'll play a. Hmm. I'm gonna go for Gaia Reach Santarian. To, to kind of want to be testing it out. Uh, I do like um, that sort of card. It we get to draw a card and they get to the good draw card and then everyone gets to the discard a card. But it, it's uh, I want to test it out see how, see how it plays. I think it could be quite good. Neglected heirloom. Okay. To do gets plus one plus one. Okay. And then when the creature transforms, the equipment transforms with it. That's cool. We will murder the creature next turn. Um. Are you attacking? Or are you not attacking? What are you doing, sir? Are we swinging? No swing. Okay, so that tells me he has no burn spells in his hand. Um, so we're in a pretty good position. Because if he had any kind of burn spell, we would have sent an attack there. So yeah, we're in a pretty good place. Obviously he's going to let that transform over. 
once he obviously lets his clock run down. So what we'll do, we'll, we'll murder it, I don't care. It's been murdered. Attack for three. And then our second main phase will play Asylum Visitor. So we do have a bit of good board advantage here. We've we got the potential to hit for uh, eight eight damage next turn. We can uh, we can definitely get him for six of that eight. This is a new card, so I'm not 100% sure on it, so I will check it out. Uh, whenever it attacks, I had a red mana team mana pool at the beginning of the next phase. Pay 5 to transform it into... You transform it into 5, 4. It's when it attacks, it gets 2 colors mana at the beginning. Okay, okay, sweet. That's pretty awesome. That's a shame, isn't it? I just drew a grass of darkness. So we will grasp the creature. We will hit for all eight. We'll make another two two. I think we've got enough mana to. Um, I think we've got enough mana to draw a card. Here we have. Okay, we. I'll do that and turn, there's no rush for that just yet. Well, I don't think there's any rush for it anyhow. I think we've uh, pretty much got it sealed. I think it's, yeah, we'll, we don't need to attack. We don't need to do it actually at all. So we will uh, swing with everything. It's Titanic King Growth something. Three. Seven, five, and he's definitely going to be dead. It'll be game one, people. Game one. Oh yes. Let's hope game two and three go just as well. Okay, game two for you guys. Uh, we've got a pretty mediocre start, but we'll keep it. We're okay. We got a Sun Visitor and both, and Hire of Valkyrie, also Grass of Dallas in our early turn. We got four land. It's not the best position we want to be in. But it's still okay. Um, we'll lead out. I think we'll lead out with the here of Falkenroth uh, on turn two, and then turn three probably cast the Asylum Visitor. That's what I'm thinking at the moment. Let's see what our opponent is playing. If they just want to run down the clock. Plays a mountain. Okay. We will run out, like I said, we'll run out the uh, her of fucking math. That's the turn. We can read the bends on the next turn if we want to as well. Let's play a song visitor. That's interesting that I can play both of these cards. Uh, what we'll do is we'll tap for two here. Go for two. Uh, play a Sun Visitor. Play a West of Abbey and pass the turn. For the meantime, we can deal with any sort of early threats with Grass and Darkness, our opponent plays. Seems to be taking his sweet time. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I know what. Well, 
I think this might get him to flip it over, but we'll go for a wisp because we'll discard this and we're going to go and hit for six next turn. Instead of five? Can we hit for six? Pass through the bounds. Um, yeah, both of these guys are pretty good, so we'll take the four Nazi and the Sun Visitor. We'll draw both. Um, I want to be in a position where I can cast Thought Nazi on the next turn, so yep, don't really need the Mortuary Mire in this position either. We still send no creatures from our opponent at the moment. Okay, now we see a creature. Which is a 4 4. That's fine. So we will go for the Grass of Darkness here. Get in the 4 4. We'll attack for 6 again. Put our opponent on 6. Play a second Asana Visitor. And then we'll keep the 3 cards in our hand. So we're in a very good position here. We're in a strong and commanding position here. We can't still not see on the next turn. Get rid of a threat. And we are very close to killing our opponent. I mean he would need to play two cards. And to block. Or alternatively he could have a, a twin bolt here and kill and take up both three one asylum visitors. Um, double twin bolt for the for the, to stop me completely from winning in this position. But this guy just seems to be wanting to waste on his clock nice and sweetly. As we wait very very patiently, he's left the game, so we're going to continue playing because we are only a turn away from winning here, I believe. Yep, we definitely are only a turn away winning uh, with that sort of play. Yeah, we're on a turn away from winning. So, we will attack. Um, first of all, we we'll just move this. We'll get rid of the blocker. And then we will just swing for nine. And that should be game two for you guys. It's not. We see the mysterious fog. Mysterious fog. That's quite hilarious that we see fog in that position. Um, very hilarious. Okay. Okay. Well, this time you're dead then, surely. This time, what I'm going to do... What am I going to do? This time, I think I'm going to have felt that here. Just in case there's another fog. Any fog this time? Oh, there is. Let's get rid of the second fog then. Now you're dead. <laughs> Thought not say getting rid of the fog. Game two, two and oh. Let's see if game three will be perfect for us. Oh yeah. Okay, game three guys. This stand hand's pretty decent, I like it. We got lots of stuff going on. We got Harry Her Fuggerath, we got Cross Darkness, we got a Guilt Leaf Winnemar and a um, Obnixus that we can draw into in our later turns. But we're gonna kick things off and we're gonna be playing the Harry Fuggerath on turn two as per standard. The hand is great to get the hair flipped, but I may make a small sacrifice to get that extra damage in. Our opponent plays a red and white cliff sort of retreat into play tapped. Uh, we'll, we'll play the hair, and we got a Whispers of Iron Recall that we can discard to it if we want to flip it over for the extra damage, which we probably will end it there, so we probably will uh, land up flipping this over and getting in for the uh, three damage that this card can do. It also gives us a card towards our Delirium for Whispers of Recall. Because early game, this card is not 
I don't stack great early game. I think it's probably better later on. So just waiting for an opponent to do something. Plays Kithian. Okay, and a fiery impulse, which will kill that creature right out right. We won't bother discarding the whispers of our because we're not gonna keep it alive. Um play Grassadonis on Yeah, Grassadonis as we draw a second one. Uh Grassadonis on Kithian. Um if I've got no creatures, you're not having any creatures either. That's the way we're gonna play this. We have two uh cards in our graveyard, which uh, means that Whispers is only two more cards away from uh, being able to uh, make our opponents got two cards at random. Do have another grasp so we can stop some of the earlier stuff. Ooh, Ember Horror. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Um. So I'll put Rast the Ember Horner while you're tapped out as well. Now what we're hoping to do is draw a land. If we draw a land in this in this position, we are gonna be pretty good. We are because we we can play up Naxus, make a good position. So yeah. Give it a plus one plus one. Won't be able to attack. He seems to be stuck on two mana as well. Our opponent does. Um, now, the thing is. Now we'll get Frobnixus and we'll kill the 2 2. It's worthy. It's worthy. We get Frobnixus out. And uh, yeah, makes it a, a good threat. So we will kill the 2 2. Makes perfect sense in this position. And then we can always use our Nexus in our later turn, our next turn to uh, draw a card. I mean, we do leave it in a precarious position with him playing red, um, but we would have lost to anyhow when he swung. Um, and I would rather deal with the board position as I see it now. Um, no, we have not down to four. Sorry, not not three. We have not down to four because you would have drawn a card. And destroy the creature. Uh, yeah, Kin's Blade. So he's like Boris Agro. This is what this guy is playing essentially. Drawing a Guild Leaf, which is fine, that's pretty good. Uh, what do we draw? Draw a land as well. Cool, we'll go for a Guild Leaf. Doesn't kill anything though. Um, we'll keep the land in the hand. We don't really need it right now. Yeah, definitely this guy. This guy is definitely Boris Hagro. Um, that we've not really seen much from his deck. Really? I mean, on our next turn, we're going to probably just draw a card, attack for four, and maybe play the second Guild Leaf. Ooh, okay. The champion, eh? Shame if I'm going to use it right now. That is a shame. So this guy really, really, really enjoys running down the clock. Are we attacking for two? No, we're not. Okay. We're not attacking for two. Uh, we'll draw a card first. We'll see where we are at post um, second main. So we pull up a West of Abbey. So we'll attack for four. 
I mean, you can choose the double block if you really, really want to. Um, I'm really tempted to just play. No, we'll play Guilt Leaf. We'll play Guilt Leaf and we'll drop West of Abbey on this turn. Uh, we'll keep the strong position that we're in. I mean, even if he comes attacking for two, he can only get a two, three, three at worst. And that means I'm going to well, be on one. Um, so we're not in that much of a bad position. Plays a Nimbus Wings. So now he gives it flying. So I'm this is definitely dead. Definitely, definitely dead. Because he can attack for three. Give it a plus one plus one and make it four. But he's gonna get hit on the back swing for eight, halving his life total. Yep. Omnixus is gonna die a horrible, miserable death here. Yeah, you need to tap it to do, my friend. Sure, Omnixus dies. That gives us three cards on our graveyard. Um, we'll attack for eight. We will play a land. Pass the turn. And we shall see how he wants to play it post this turn. We're in a very good, we're in a winning position at the moment. In this current board state, we have the potential to win this game. Because all we would need to do is get rid of the free four and then he wouldn't be able to block at all. I can't believe this guy's play, playing virtually no burn spots. I've not seen any kind of burn from this guy. You can't attack. You're not in a position where you can attack. But you can't block now. Because I've just made sure that you can't. What? You're going to kill one eye, Mike, which is in response? You tried and missed. Okay. 4 5. Interesting. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That means you don't have another one now. I'm pretty sure the ability to target attacking creature, not blocking. Um, so yeah, you're gonna have to block with both to block, and you will lose your three four if you do block. I like you one one. I don't have a problem with that. No blocks. Any blocks, any blocks. Anyone for any blocks. You have to block with both, mate. You have to block with both. You can't block with one, it has menace. to block both. That won't work either. That's it, you have to block both. Uh, we'll have this one first. No, we'll have this one first. That one second. I believe I have... No, I don't. I only have three cards still. Uh, we'll pass the turn. Still can't cast the... Whispers for two guards. That's fine, an ember holder. Are we swinging for one? I doubt it. I don't think you will be. 
don't think we'll be. We will make a uh, token there. We will make a token in this position. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, we got Lucid Tormentor, that's pretty awesome. Uh, we will attack for uh, the total damage here. So we're getting him for one here, because he will have to block both creatures and lose both creatures. You have to block both or you die. You can't sacrifice it in response to kill more than one either. Yep. They have to die. Please sacrifice it. Please sacrifice that. Because that will be the biggest mistake you make. Second the creature in, the, in this position. Second that ember hole in this position is not what you want to be doing. Uh, we'll go from the Lucid Tormentor. And we will pass the turn. I think it's a good game. I'm pretty sure it's a good game in this position. Because if you try to burn it, I just flip it over. And we tap five. And we will win. Sweet. Three and oh. That's fantastic. Excellent result. Um, so happy that worked out. Uh, first first deck of the season of this new Eldred Moon season and with a mono black control deck. Uh, really enjoyed playing the deck. Very well played. I'm not too sure on the Whispers of Emrakul. That might come out for, for something else. Um, you know, maybe I might play Witness End or something in, in that position. Maybe it might be something I'll come back and have a look to at um, in the future. But anyway guys, thank you very much for your time today and thank you for checking out my videos. Uh, thank you for all the the nice and uh, constructive replies I've had on um, No Goblins Allowed forums, uh, which is a great place to go if you're, if you're looking at getting better and getting some great uh, tips on how to build decks on this game. Um, yeah, please comment, like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys on Monday for Monday Night Jaws. See you then, bye bye. Lightning ass. Ah oh, man. And another three, come this one two. Ouch. Jeez, man. Wrong two.